Hey what's up YouTubers and welcome to K Tech Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to get higher FPS in pretty much any game uh, without any hardware fixes or software. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, the very first thing you got to check is to make sure that your power level is at a high performance. It doesn't matter if you're on a laptop or a desktop, every computer has a power level. Uh, so in order to get to it, on Windows at least, uh, is to right click, uh, actually let's just go to the search bar. So go on the bottom right, like so. Ooh bottom right like so and we're going to search for power in the search menu so just type in power uh, we're going to go to the settings tab over here and we're going to go to power options once we're in here we can see that there there's a high performance power option and what this does is it favors performance over energy saving uh, so always keep it on high performance you want high FPS if it's not balanced it's your uh, the software is gonna your OS is gonna choke itself so <laughs> If you guys know what I mean, uh, if you don't see the high performance mode, you can just do the down arrow over here, and it'll come up. Uh, so please make sure it's on high performance for the best FPS. A uh, second thing is, you gotta make sure that you have enough FPS. Uh, sorry, you gotta make sure that you have enough RAM to play. Uh, now you don't have to add RAM, but you, what you can do is you can try to make sure that uh, a lot of stuff is not taking up your RAM space. So a game can run comfortably at four gigs of RAM. Uh, if you go right click on the taskbar over here, go to Task Manager. Uh, it's gonna pop up right over here. And as we can see, all our stuff. If we go to performance, we can see that I have uh, eight gigs of RAM on this system. You might have less. You might have more. Uh, so what? So what we want to do is we want to lower um, all the programs that are possibly uh, using RAM. Uh, so if we go to pro processes, uh, so yours might come up like this. Make sure you go to more details, uh, or like show more, and sort it by the program that's using the most memory. So the down arrow. As as we can see that. Uh, my, I'm recording with Hypercam and that's using some RAM. But other than that, nothing too intensive. Uh, but if you do have intensive, intensive programs, like anything more than um, I would say 50, you, you should probably stop the process because uh, you want to save all the megabytes you can get, uh, especially if you have 4 gigs. Uh, you, with 8 gigs, you don't really have to worry about anything. Alright, the next thing is you have to disable, and then these are some settings that I can't really show you, uh, but what you have to do is you have to disable VSync because uh, chances are uh, if you're watching this video because you're not getting a very high FPS and VSync is definitely not going to help you uh, and it tries to match the FPS with your screen uh, refresh rate uh, so just make sure you disable VSync and disable motion blur I don't know anyone that plays with motion blur uh, personally I hate it I don't like it at all uh, but if you do have motion blur enabled please disable that and also disable screen bobbing uh, it doesn't help and I don't think anyone really likes it alright one more thing well, two more things. Uh, your sc your game resolution. Uh, like I said, I can't really show you guys this stuff right now. Uh, but lower your game resolution. Uh, if you play a 1080p or something, or if you play on a weird aspect, or if you play on like a weird resolution, like 1366 or something, lower your uh, lower your thing. The lowest you should play at is 1280p. Sorry, 720p. Uh, so 1280 by 720. That's the lowest you should play at. Uh, lower than that, it, it doesn't look very good. Uh, but yeah, usually your monitor, your GPU upscales the image, so if you're playing on a 1080p monitor, uh, it'll look the same uh, as if it's full screen. Uh, things will just look bigger, the letters will look bigger and everything, but other than that, it'll be exactly the same. And one last thing. Now, this is only suggested for those of you that know how to do this kind of stuff, uh, but you will have to watch a separate tutorial for this, and I don't really have it. And that is to overclock your stuff, to overclock your equipment. Uh, so my GPU is overclocked. I don't remember what it was overclocked to. I did it a while ago. Uh, I don't know. My GPU is overclocked to something. I don't remember. Uh, do I remember? Sorry, guys. Yeah, I don't remember what I overclocked my GPU to. My GPU uh, to. Uh, but it is overclocked. My CPU is also... Actually, my CPU is not overclocked. Uh, I used to have my CPU overclocked, but I got a new motherboard. Uh, this used to be overclocked to 4.8, uh, but now it's just 4, uh, the base. And like I said, make sure you overclock your GPU and your CPU uh, if you really want a big performance increase. Uh, you got to be careful when you're doing that because you got to make sure that your PSU, your power supply, uh, has enough power to supply uh, to all your components. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to run through them one more time really quickly. Uh, first of all, make sure you change your power level to high performance free up space on your RAM to make sure nothing is using it uh, disable VSync, disable motion blur and disable uh, like view bobble fourth is to lower your game resolution so your GPU has an easier time and last but not least is to overclock your components uh, your parts 
And yeah, those are all the tips I have. Uh, I don't really need to do it anymore because I built my own PC and I don't need to do anything. But when I used to play on a laptop, I had to do a lot of that stuff. Uh, so yeah, I hope I helped you guys out, gave you some tips. Uh, and that's pretty much all. Thank you guys for watching all the way through and I'll see you guys next time.